Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you how to set the environment for Java servlet programming in VS Code. The softwares that we need are Apache Maven, which is a build tool for simplifying our project development, similar to Gradle but more advanced than Ant. The second one is Java JDK, uh, which is the development kit provided by Oracle for Java developers. Third one is Tomcat server to deploy our projects to the server. And the last one is VS Code that is the code editor. So let's get started. The first step is to install Java JDK, which is the development kit provided by Oracle for developing real time applications in Java. So for that, you can check out my previous videos where I have shown how to install and the whole processor for Java JDK installing in our systems. The second step is to install Apache Maven which is a build tool for simplifying our project development similar to Gradle but more advanced than Ant. So to install Apache Maven in our systems, choose your favorite browser and search for Apache Maven. You have to go into the link maven.apache.org and here at the left side you will be able to see the downloads option. Here are the system requirements. We have installed Java JDK and these the rest three are the, some of the basic in the requirements here for windows uh, we have to choose the binary zip archive the current version is 3.6.3 after uh, clicking on that you will be able to download this apache maven 3.6.3 um, binary folder binary zip file so we have to extract that zip file in our desired location after extracting the zip file, you will be able to see this uh, directory. We have to set the path of this bin folder in our system variables. So I did the environment variables and edit. you can see here the bin folder of the Apache Maven has already been set in my system. So to check whether our apache maven is correctly working or not open command prompt enter mn hyphen hyphen version this this output uh, tells you that the our apache maven has been successfully installed in our systems this is the apache maven version the maven home that is the uh, location that we have set in our environment path the java version the default local and the os name I assume that your systems are already installed with the VS Code, that's the text editor and the last prerequisite is Apache Tomcat, search for Apache Tomcat in your favorite browser and click on the link tomcat.apache.org, you will be able to see the download option, you can click on Tomcat 10 and here when we scroll down. You can see the binary distributions of the Tomcat. So for the windows and you can install, you can click on this 32 bit slash 64 bit windows service installer. After clicking on this, you will be able to see the download in few minutes, which is of size approximately 11.6 MB. I have downloaded it already. So this is the .exe file that I have downloaded. Click next. Yeah, if you want to read all the license agreement, you can read and press on I agree. Uh, select the full and press next. And leave all these to the default. And you can set your Tomcat administrator login credentials, but these are optional. I will be setting some easy to remember credentials. Uh, it will be uh, asking for the java jdk path so if the path that is by default present here is not correct you can click on this three dots and uh, check the path it will automatically give the correct path for me it gave the automatically the correct path click on next and you can choose the location in which you have to install the tomcat i will be installing it in my D drive. You 
we have to check whether our tomcat is running perfectly fine or not go to the installed uh, uh, directory where tomcat is installed click on continue uh, go to the bin folder you will be able to see the some exe files this exe file is for uh, stopping and starting tomcat through command prompt this is basically the same but with the GUI click on this click yes and yeah start startup type must be manual so change that to art from automatic to manual uh, click apply and then start the Apache Tomcat server yeah so the service status is started so go to chrome and go to localhost 8080 yeah, so this is the Apache Tomcat home page let us stop the server click on ok and then refresh you will not be able to see the home page again because the server has stopped now go to the directory where tomcat has been installed and here you can see all the folders binary folder configuration folder lib folder go to web apps go to docs and here you will be, you will be able to see running.txt file after opening this file you will be seeing the whole processor for configuration of the jre required the apache tomcat configuration we will be following this and we will be setting the catalina home that is required for the apache tomcat to run so the catalina home should be set to the location of the root directory of the binary distribution of tomcat so we will be doing the same go to the binary folder copy the location and edit the environment variables yeah so create a new one and the variable name must be catalina home underscore home and the variable value must be the tomcat directory click on ok and this variable catalina home is used here in system variables click on path press edit click on new and type percentage catalina underscore home percentage forward slash bin click enter click ok click ok and then click ok the configuration of catalina home is done